Good morning, everyone. I know there's a few people from the US here, so it's bright and early for us. Um, I want to introduce myself. So my name is Jody Colody. I had previous work in the White House under Michelle Obama. I recently was living in Dubai, helping the government of Dubai with their big mission of Expo 2020. Um, and now I'm currently leading a research institute here in the US, focusing on machine learning and predictive simulations, really trying to tackle the tough questions. For example, you know, how do we predict the next mass shooter? How do we predict the next pandemic? And what does that mean for the government and policymakers um, to kind of tackle these tough issues and doing this with the future technology? So today, and that's a bit of my background, I'm passionate about um, women entrepreneurship, I'm very passionate about talking to young leaders like yourselves, the great group that Gary is leading. I was fortunate enough to meet this group um, in Azerbaijan. And it really means so much to me that, you know, everyone's coming from different parts of the world, especially during this pandemic, to kind of gather around to talk about how do we shape the leaders of the future and how do we really create um, the unity between small organizations and big organizations. So I do just want to give a little, stage setting. I know all morning we've been talking about really great ideas about young leaders, but you know, I really want to get specific in this session about what are the unique contributions of youth to global change and what do new strategies look like. And I just want when everyone's in their breakout session to keep in mind kind of the definition of new strategies. You know, we all kind of are saying the same thing. I think we're all pretty clear on the message of connecting people, making sure voices are heard, really seeing you know, how do we make sure no one is left behind? So I wanna make sure that everyone is thinking uniquely. I know for me personally, Mrs. Obama, you know, I was an intern for her, often felt that, you know, my voice wasn't as valued as the other people with the grad degrees or that have been in DC for a very long time. But something I really admired about a strong leader like herself, she brought everyone into the room, even if it was discuss discussing crucial policy change, she said, I want a young leader, I want an old leader, I want um, a gay person, I want a black person, I want a white person. I want to make sure that my value is connecting to everyone from 85 to 13 years old. So I think that's very um, strong message that she taught me is how do we connect to every voice in the world? Yes, we're young leaders, but unfortunately, a lot of the leadership is the older generation. So how do we get in those boardrooms where we can really connect to each other and say, hey, I know you guys are organizing for the younger next generation, but how can I get involved? So I think it's really important to think of these new strategies and get more tactical with them. Um, so with that, I would love to kind of break out and start because I know everyone's pretty energized, so I don't want to stop the mojo here. Um, and I'm really looking forward to hearing a lot of everyone's answers.